Located on 20 acres of land from a humble beginning is a national school, Asombi Girls High School, located in Game Asombi Village, Homa Bay County, 26 kilometers away from Kisi Town and also 27 kilometers away from Homa Bay Town. They call it a school of scholars, a giant institution that was started on 19th March 1936 by the Franciscan Missionary Sisters of St. Joseph as lower boarding primary school with a small population of pupils sponsored by the Mill Hill missionaries of the then Catholic Diocese of Kisumu. Asumbi is a home of scholars and uh, our motto is integrity. And when we do exams, we don't want jokes, whether internal exams or external exams. We don't joke with any form of exam. Uh, our teachers set the exams. They are moderated by the HOSs, by the HODs, and there is strict supervision during examination. Being a Catholic school, it has maintained its Catholic tradition. Once the girls step into this school, the first thing we teach them, or the first thing we say both to the parents and the girls, is that this is a God-fearing school. And once God is put in the middle of everything that you do, then there is a lot of calmness. Our students are calm. Our students are obedient. Our students are understanding and hardworking. Our car has been running parallel to a peripheral wall with a white paint for about a hundred meters when we suddenly arrived at the gate. Wow! The spotless engraving on the upper part of the gate, a Sumbi Girls National School. As a visitor or a student getting into the compound, COVID-19 precautions must be observed. You must sanitize or wash your hands. We, we as the Students Council, we are trying our best to help the government to curb this corona by making sure that the containers are always full with water and we are trying to tell the students that these containers are not being placed there for them to use them to wash the plates. After each and every lesson, we do take temperature in class. Yes, we have people who do that. Unafunzi wa kidato cha konza watakapo ingia, mikakati zulizaweko zinezap tusaidia kupunguza mambukizi zaidi. Hii ambayo tatusaidia tukai vizuri shuleni, tuneza soma vizuri na turudi nyumbani, tukua salama, tulivi wachana na wazazi wetu. As a cool breeze flows, you walk towards this beautiful administration block. You will be welcomed by flags written B+. We sought to know. This year our target is 10.0. And uh, the flags, we did the flags to encourage uh, the students, to encourage the candidates. The candidates this year are called the Eagles. They chose their na uh, that name for themselves. Um, we chose the name Eagles because of a lot of um, characteristics that the, eagle, the Eagles have. Maybe just to mention but a few. An Eagle soars very high. It does not come down low here with other birds. It is ever up there. And that is our motivation. That even us, when, when the results shall come back in April next year, that we shall be somewhere up there. We shall not sow with these other young birds. Another property of the, another characteristic of the eagle is that it has a very sharp eyesight. Whenever it sees something that is, it's targeting on, it focuses its eyes on that specific thing and it never misses its target. They are a source of motivation so that when the students are walking, they are able to see, they are reminded of the target, the name, the theme all the time. And through this, they are able to understand what is happening. How is a Sumbi? <laughs> In 
the expansive chief principal's office after being ushered in. Wow! You will come face to face with the person who has been steering the administrative and academic will of this gigantic institution. The big girl, as they call her here, Limit Pino Sati, the 5.8 feet or so officer whose sense of humor will make you feel at home. My name is Lynette Pino Sati. I work at Asubi Girls. I was brought here by my employer, the Teacher Service Commission, in 2017, September. Uh, to date, it has been a journey of about, we are beginning the fifth year. And all I can say is that uh, so far, so good, we thank God. When I arrived at Asumbi Girls National School, it was one of the rare things that I'd never imagined. Because I was quite settled in the station where I was. Then all of a sudden, uh, a transfer came and I was uh, brought here. And therefore, one of the challenges that I knew I was going to face on arrival was maintaining the performance of the school. This is a school that once upon a time had hit a top high of 10 points. When I came in 2017, uh, the school uh, was at 8.1 in 2017. Then uh, we went, uh, uh, we started work then. In, 29, in 2018, we went down a bit to, uh, uh, to 7.8 because we were still finding our footing and uh, we were still blending in. In 2019, uh, our target uh, was nine. In 2020, we had a mean of 9.5. So we have steadily been going up as far as academics is concerned. Yearly, it produces students who are being admitted in various universities to pursue lucrative courses. You see our students doing medicine courses. This is the reason why they do medicine. Because they have interacted with this thing. And medicine is mostly about botany, zoology, the physics and chemistry. And all these are entailed here. Uh, we don't wait for our teachers to like motivate the weak performing students to like come up and be strong in their academics and be aggressive in their academic work. We take it as a role as our students so that the, 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 the weak students can take up the mantle and carry it forward because um, it, at the end of the day it is us who are going to benefit from it. And so our weak students are very encouraged by us and not just by the students because we are a united school. Five years since assuming the role of chief principal at the school, Mrs. Sati's mantra is to listen to the students and teachers, but not to compromise. A good performance is our weakness. We have just to perform, and, and the girls know that, and they are proud of that. And when they perform, that is uh, uh, the self-motivation uh, that they have for themselves. What works for me, I would say, is that uh, I do not know how to cheat. I do not know cheating in the sense that I don't um, uh, cheat students that, oh, it is, it is all okay, just relax. No, people must work. Everywhere I have been, I believe in work. I was taught work. I believe in work, and I ensure that people do work. And when you cannot uh, work, uh, we can never be friendly. Whether you are a, 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 a teacher, a student, or even a worker, we have to work. And I believe that God rewards hard work. In the 2020 Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education, it posted a main score of 9.56 emerging among the top schools not only in Western Kenya, but also in the country. 
Well, we have 2,365 students to date. Uh, it looks a big number. In fact, uh, when the form ones came, I was looking at them and wondering. We have over 776 form ones. But with time, we got used to them and they were not even looking as many as we thought. How do we manage them really? I, I can't say. I wouldn't say I have um, a, 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 you know, a script on how to manage them. But first, as I had said earlier, God is in the middle of it all. We have a chaplain and his assistant. We do prayers every morning. We have mass every morning at 6.30. And once you begin your day with mass, let me tell you, the day will be calm and the day will end in a calm way. Beyond teaching at Asumbi, there are deliberate efforts to cultivating the culture of hard work. So generally I can say that um, my success at Asumbi Girls is attributed to so, so many people. In the school, the teachers I work with, the duties that I have, that is Sister Jane and Sister Carol, the DOS, very important and instrumental as far as academics are concerned, the boarding mistress, that is a lady I adore. She will always be there with me walking at night to uh, uh, get the girls to sleep. She will always be there in the morning to ensure that uh, don'ts are, are attended to. And she is also a very, very good teacher of mathematics. I don't know how she does it, but she has the energy of a lioness. She is all round and again ever smiling. So with all that and uh, with the teachers, every teacher wanting success. Right. Do you remember the genius Eric Ademba? I thought you should know. The chemistry and mathematics teacher who scooped the first Continental Teacher Award by the African Union in 2019. As you can see. He is the reason why the school is always a best performer in sciences. But how do they do it? What has made our work very easy as far as academics is concerned is that our teachers all want success so that even when they have personal issues the end result is how successful are my students are going to be we equally have a very understanding uh, and uh, encouraging uh, education office right at the sub county they are always there for us. And I want to say that when you are sure that your bosses are there for you, then you work in a relaxed manner, you become relaxed, and therefore uh, the work you do uh, succeeds somehow. Asumbi is currently a 10 streamed school with over 40 government employed teachers and over 20 board of management teachers. As a person, uh, I try my level best to be in this school 24-7. I rarely leave the school. Not because I'm doing anything in particular, but just my presence. So that um, the students are always aware that I am there. The teachers know that I am there. The workers know that I am there. So I think my presence uh, may also lead to the calmness that uh, we normally have. As a management, we are very ready to listen, although we do not compromise. But we are always very ready to listen. The students know if they come to us, 
uh, we will listen to, to them. Mrs. Sati, also a former student of Asumbi, notes that the institution has continued to grow in infrastructure to accommodate its national status and the growing population. All that thanks to the Ministry of Education Maintenance Fund and small savings. When I came to Asumbi Girls, the structures were already there. The way the teachers were doing their things, the way the students were doing their things, the structure had been laid. I took over from Sister Anne Josephine. And I tried my level best to ensure that I only change what is changeable and what is going to give us better results. And uh, my prayer, as uh, it is written there, is uh, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. So um, what I can say about uh, the girls, once the girls step into this school, the first thing we teach them, or the first thing we say both to the parents and the girls is that this is a God-fearing school. And once God is put in the middle of everything that you do, then there is a lot of calmness. Our students are calm. Our students are obedient. Our students are understanding and hardworking. Asumbi has multiple science and computer laboratories and numerous dormitories, majority of whom named after Catholic clerics, among them Bishop Philip Agnolo. As we tread the lovely pavements of the institution with the jolly Madam CEO, the students were busy studying in class, giving the school the silence of a grave. No doubt, their brains were engaging in books. Asumbi,